This is Zachary Horn of Clean Code Studio. Clean Code, Clean Life, Simplify. And today, folks, let's learn some Vue. So first, what do we need to know about Vue? What does it take to really learn Vue? Well, for starters, we need to know about the reactivity system. Now, reactivity system is this sort of buzzword going around. You know, it's reactive, it must be fast, it must be quick, it must be efficient. You know, uh, there's several front-end JS frameworks in today's environment as a JS developer that use reactivity. Um, reactivity is used in React.js by Facebook, it's used in Angular, which I believe was originally made by Google, and is now used in Vue. It is used in Vue.js um, which is, in my opinion, the best of the reactivity systems. But what do we need to know to understand Vue reactivity? Well, we need to know that reactivity is based on a source of truth, on data. Data is the source of truth in any Vue reactivity system. We also need to know that everything else in the reactivity system observes data. It observes the source of truth. After that, we need to know about the virtual DOM. One, what is a virtual DOM? Do you know what a traditional HTML DOM is? If so, why do we need a virtual DOM? Why can't we interact with that? Two, why use a virtual DOM? What's the purpose of using a virtual DOM? Is it just because it's, you know, virtual, it sounds cool? Well, we usually have a reason for calling things virtual versus real, concrete versus abstract. Um, and the virtual DOM is no different, guys. So then the next thing we'll have to learn about is how do we mount that virtual DOM to the actual DOM? How do we mount the virtual DOM to the traditional HTML DOM? Vue's virtual DOM needs to eventually become a part of our HTML element, become a part of our actual HTML DOM. How do we do that? How do we do that? And what happens when we do? You know, um, another huge thing is the virtual DOM actually is made up of Vue components. Vue components are just a fancy way of saying, hey, I'm going to extend the Vue instance.